We welcome back to the show, Candy Staten. So, how have you been, Candy? I've been doing wonderful. How are you, Chris? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I hear that you're in the process of recording a new album. Can you tell us more? Yes. Um, I'm I'm just out of the studio, in and out of the studio with Rick Hall, my um, my first producer. You know, it's been many years, um, probably over 30 years since Rick and I have been in the same studio together. And he's producing and I'm doing the singing. But um, we, 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 we collaborated on four sides right now. And, Ra- and Randy Owens of Alabama, the group called Alabama. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with them or not. Yeah, I've heard of them, yeah. Well, Randy Owens, the lead singer for the uh, group, uh, did a duet with me on one of the sides. And it's wonderful. It's called um, I Ain't Easy to Love. Is this a song that's been done before, or is this a new duet? Uh, it's a new song. It's It was written by Rick Hall's writers there in Muscle Shows, and uh, it's a new song. And it's it's uh, it really sounds great. You know, it's kind of country, and with me, of course, it's blues and country. Blues and country is meeting, you know, head in, head in head. And, it's wonderful. It's a it's a different sound, and and I and I love it. It's Rick, Randy did a great job. Yeah, blues and country go really well together, don't they? They do. They really do. And what was it like uh, working with him doing the duet? It was just one. It was well. I wasn't there in the studio with him, but uh, I do, I'd done my part, and then Randy came in later and put his vocal down, and but I was in touch with them and I'm it was just wonderful what he heard uh, he sent me the final mix and beautiful and when is that going to be released well we're working on it we're working on trying to get um um uh, as um we're picking it up at you know someone to pick it up and maybe put it out over there or a record company that will we can talk to on the business side meanwhile we're just going to probably do something with it ourselves if we can't get anybody else to do it You've been in the music business for many years. How would you say it's changed from when you first started? Oh my gosh, it's changed question, I know. a lot. <laughs> yeah, you had uh, traditional everything. You know, rhythm and blues was rhythm and blues. Uh, it wasn't pop country. It wasn't all of that other stuff that you hear. You know, and all the hip hop and stuff. When I was in, when I was out there, there were no hip hop. They were just starting. You know, um, to do some hip hop. But it was real downplayed. It was really a good sound, you know, and it wasn't no cursing or any of that stuff in it or talking about women and calling them the B word and mm. your mama and all that stuff. It was just real clean music. And um, um, jo- uh, what, Joe Robinson, I think, um, was the first to begin to put it out up in uh, uh, New York. And it, it's changed a lot. It's really changed a lot. Um I'm still in the oldies. You're now on Twitter at I am Candy Staten. Do you tweet much? I'm uh, not much. Uh, I'm learning though. I, I'm, I've got I've got to get the nick of it. I, I can't really do much with it. But um, right now I'm tweeting through my publicist Bill. You know, so um, I'm learning. They're teaching me. You know, I'm not that. Computer liter uh, computer literate. So <laughs> it's been a month. It's been kind of hard for me. Yeah, I'm on there as well. You might be able yeah. to find me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never use it, really. Oh, Not it's much. getting done. <laughs> what music do you like to listen to? Oh, my goodness. I like Usher. I like oldies. I still love the old old music, you know. Um, I still, I'm still into gospel music. I love gospel music. And uh, Kirk Franklin, Aretha, I love Aretha Franklin. Um, I love Gladys Knight, and I love to see her dance, and she's on Dancing with the Stars now, and it's great just watching her. She's so much fun. But I love her music and all of the other music, The Temptations, and huh, Peebo Bryson is one of my favorite singers, and I'm still into the old, my generation of musicians and music. Yeah, well, it was great music, wasn't it? It really was. That's one of my shows. I do a soul show, and that's all the music I play. Right. Motown and Smooth Soul, yeah. Right. So I love that kind of music, too. So what other plans have you got for this year? I'm writing a book. Um, 
what to do when your child turns to crime. Um, my son was in the system for a while, and um, I've documented a lot of the incidents that he was involved in and how we got through it. And I'm writing a book, and it, it should be up probably the uh, in, the, in the summer. We're trying to get it out as fast as we can. And then I'm also doing my, my story, or another book, with Bill Carpenter, my publicist, so doing that. And I'm going back into the studio to do uh, another gospel album, and we're going to finish this secular album with Rick Hall that I'm doing. So Rick and I have been in the studio together. We've got so much good music. R Randy Owens and I um, did a duet together of Alabama, some music together, and it's really good. So you'll be hearing it real soon. Oh, that's great. And the book with your son, is that to help people who, who are in a similar situation? Yes. Yes, it is. It's, it's a book teaching them how to get through it. Um, I'm trying to encourage the moms and dads and don't give up on the kids. You know, sometimes they make mistakes and you got to be you got to make sure that you're there for them, you know, I, even though they may be repeat offenders. But you got to make sure that you're standing there with them because they have nothing and they have nobody. And I learned that the hard way in and out of the judicial system here in America. And um, when the judge sees parents involved, they have lesser sentences. So we, we're just trying to encourage the kids to stay out of trouble, you know, and don't get in it in the first place. Um, and then if they do get in it, we try to get them through it. That's obviously, because um, you've experienced, it's obviously something you feel quite emotional about. Right, I, it is. It's personal. Yeah. And with your book, uh, that's going to be fun, isn't it, writing a book about your life? Yeah, it is. I have a lot to write about. <laughs> it's it's really a interesting book, you know. Um, I'm talking about abuse and... Uh, differences and relationships and stuff uh it's, it's really 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 wonderful um it's it's going to be a wonderful book and um i said tina turner has nothing on me uh, <laughs> but she's only gone through one disappointment i've gone through several so we have a lot to talk about and i'm sure there are a lot of people that have gone through the same thing that i've gone through and it would be refreshing to know that somebody else they're not alone but other people have gone through it too now, I didn't ask you this last time. What is your favorite song? Not necessarily your song? song, but anybody's song. I know it's another tough question. But. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. One of my favorite songs. Uh, I guess one of my very favorite songs and one of my very favorite artists was Ray Charles. Ray was a wonderful singer. He's a great musician. And uh, Georgia. I love Georgia. that song, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wonderful, isn't it? All right then, Candy. Well, thanks a lot for coming on the show. You're welcome. It's been great talking to you again, and I wish you luck with the new album. Let me know when it comes out, and I'll get it on for you. Okay, well, thank you so much. No worries. You're welcome. See ya. Bye-bye.